Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chol. Today's topic is the Linux DHCP server. In this part, there are five chapters. Chapter 1, the, about the DHCP. Chapter 2, how to get the IP address. Chapter 3, obtaining an initial configuration. Chapter 4, extending a list. And chapter 5, chapter 5, the DHCP configuration. I dedicate this video to Sagittarius Joe. Okay, chapter one, dynamic host configuration protocol. We normally say the DHCP. Okay, here, DHCP normally enable the client systems to retrieve the network configuration information, such as the gateway, the subnet mask domain name service server like this when the connecting to the network and is centralized the process so normally DHCP support the client system to get this kind of network configuration information automatically and also DHCP support this one update the DNS server dynamically and uh, divide the host into classes based on many of the criteria when you configure to obtain an uh, address the automatically, DHCP is the service providing the that kind of the address. So normally, DHCP support the our the obtaining the address automatically. And uh, when server normally offers the IP address, then that the parameters for a limited time. Normally, we say to the a lease to client. So client can use this kind of IP address during this kind of leave lease. In practice, lease may vary from 30 minutes to week or so like this. In a list, there are two kinds, short lease and long lease. In case of the short lease, client get update parameters quickly. And if we have the more client than address, for example, there are 10, there are 100 clients, but we have only 90 addresses. In this case, it is essential to use the short list. And the short list also requires more processing power on the server. In case of the long list, more reliable because the client may continue to operate for a week after DHCP server fail. But it takes longer for all clients to get new settings if they change. So if there are the change in the network setting, then take longer. Chapter 2. How to get IP address? Normally, to get IP address in DHCP, there are four kinds the process. First, the DHCP discover. Second, DHCP offer. Third, the DHCP the, uh, request. And DHCP act like this. Normally, DHCP discover is happened by the client because the first time client has no address. So, asking for a new one using breakfast, uh, broadcast packet. And then, the DHCP open packet come from the server. And using this uh, packet, normally DHCP server offer of IP address and other parameters. Then, client send DHCP request packet to our server, DHCP server. Using this one, client normally ask if he can use the offered address and parameters by server. Then, the DHCP server normally send DHCP ACK. Then it means server says client, this address and these parameters are yours. Now you are okay to use this IP address with some data parameters. Obtaining, so this is a kind of the, the picture. So at first time the client is built with no IP list. So here just send the DHCP discover packet to the broadcast. Then server will accept this one and of that send it to DHCP offer. And of that the client the request this DHCP request to the server 
with about the offer from the server. And if server the send the DHSP acknowledge packet to the the client, then now the client can use this kind of new IP address with the network settings. Extending a list, if I already told you, normally DHSP lose the list. So here. The list can be extended at T1 before it expires. T1 means the list time slash 2. So if the reach the list here, then client also will request this one, DHSP, request to the server. Then DHSP, the server, reply to client with this packet DHSP act. Then now DHSP client also can extend his the network settings okay chapter 5 dhsp configuration first packet checking so first please to check this one dhsp packet like this dhsp command dhsp and dhsp development if you don't have this kind of package just install like this you install dhsp command like this and after that number two configuration file copy even if uh, you install the DHSP package like this, but normally the DHSP does not support the main configuration file. So you need to copy this main configuration file from here and please copy. And after that, the service registration says you can config DHSP D on and service DHSP D start. Number four, then you need to configure this main configuration by etc DHSP DHSP conf. So here, first one, the global configuration option, the domain name. So you need to define exactly, in my case, that we use to anchor.com. And the domain name server, in my case, I'm using two name servers, 85 and 86. And the different list time and the max list time, 6,000 seconds and the 72,000 seconds. According to your situation, anytime you can change these numbers. And if you want to look, about the DHSP, then you can use this one, log facility, log server like this. Subnet declaration. So in my case, I have the two in the server, DHSP server, there are two, the network interface, and the ETH0 has 192.68, and ETH1 as uh, the internet networks, 19, uh, 68 to 50. So here I will use this network address uh, DHSP server configuration. And the range on 1960 50, 51 to 100. And the names of also here 85 and domain name this one. And the option routers 192 50, 5. This one mean my ETH1 IP address as an uh, internet. So this IP address will be the gateway for this network addresses for the DHCP client. And the broadcast address, 196.50.255, and the default release time and max release time. According to the, this kind of the subnet, you can define your own domain name server, name, uh, domain name, and the list time and max the list time as well. This one is just a global configuration. See, static configuration. Even if you are using the DHCP, but uh, you can give the static IP address to the client using this section. So here, host, in my case, I will uh, define like node1 and option hostname node1.chol.com. And here, you need to define exact the your host, the MAC address. And of that, give 192.650.10 like this. This is a, will be, this IP address will be the fixed address for the client. And when you give this kind of IP address, be careful not to be the duplicate with dynamic IP range. In my case, the dynamic the IP address range, this one, 51 to 100. So this one, 50.10, this IP address will not be duplicate with the dynamic IP ranges. And after that, the service DHSPD restart. Uh, client for, for the test, the client service test restart. Then this one will bring IP address from the, the DHSP server. Number seven, if you want to see the DHSP 
the all location database, then this one, VAR library, DHSPD, DHSP, lease. Okay, then now here, let's test. First one, let's check the package first. RPM, QA, grab, DHCP. So in my case here, DHCP element, DHCP comma, and DHCP like this. If we don't have, just install uh, like this. Yum, install DHCP like this. In my case, I already installed, so I can see this kind of message. And the second, uh, no, 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 share DOC DHCP. So here you can uh, find the DHCPD conf sample. So please copy this kind of file CP. Here, etc, dhcp. So in my case, I have already, so I will just stop this one. And after that, dhcp. So here you can find dhcp dconf. Okay, let's check this one. Uh, line number seven. So here in my case, option name. In my case, that will domain name child.com. And the name servers 85, 86. And default release time the 600, max release time the 7,200 seconds. And if you want to the configure the local file, then you can use this option. And this is a kind of example. In my case, the 192, 50, mask, and the range 51 to 100. Name server. And the domain name, the loud 192.165.55, it means, in my case, so now I have this one, 192.165.55, and this one, 192.85. This one connected to the external network, and this one will be the internal network. So this one will be, this IP address will be the gateway of the DHCP client. This one. And the broadcast 192.160.50.255. And the default list time, in my case, even if the global configuration is uh, 600, but in my case, uh, will extend to the 6000 and this one too, 72,000 second. And one more thing, line number 69. So here, this is uh, the configuration for static IP address allocation. So here, the host of the client, hostname the client.com, and the MAC address, IP address will be 192.650.50. So this is a client. Okay, let's check. Uh, if I see this one, I have the ETH0, ETH1. ETH0 has uh, 86, but ETH1 does not have IP address and the MAC address here. C3, so here already I copy like this. And the other things is so you can just select the your uh, situation. So, uh, DHCPD on, and after that, let's uh, DHCPD. So, in my case, now, number two, three, four, five, so using DHCP. Okay, and after that, uh, let's check. Service DHCPD restart. So in my case, now two IP addresses this one the external and this one internal. Okay, then I started this IP address. Then the, let's go to the client for the testing. So I already told you this one ETH just does not have IP address with uh, this MAC address. So here I uh, will change the setting. Uh, ETH1 edit. This one will connect automatically. So apply, close, and after that, service network restart. Okay, let's check. So now ETH1 has this IP address. 
192650-50 according to the configuration of the in the server. So now this one is a kind of the static. So let's check here. Uh, cat var library dhcp. Uh, ah, okay, this one, not this one. And now let's uh, the change this one. DHCP comes. So here, let's uh, this one, node one, and the change the MAC address 00 like this. And the IP address. 10 okay service network restart okay then here Now this one Okay, now I don't have So now Okay, now uh, let's test this one Okay, now test this one uh, etc cp so now in my case I changed this MAC address for the client and the IP address from range 51 to the 100 so the client system will have the, this kind of IP address so let's check in the client so here Okay, this is a client. So now let's check the client. So in case of client now, uh, it is 0, 80, uh, 86, and this one now 192060553. And uh, in the sub part, so here let's check the database like this. So now, can you see this one? Uh, 1921 At first time, this one allocated by this IP address, but now this one 50, 50 and MAC address, this one. Okay, like this. And this is a MAC address 0000 C, the C3. So now this is a same. So now this one got a, this, the client system got a, this IP address. And we can find this database from this file. DHC PD the list. Okay, so far I explained how to configure DHCP server. Thanks for watching this video. See you next videos. God bless you.